everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing an epic thrift haul today, specifically from the Goodwill outlet, which if you aren't familiar with a Goodwill outlet, um, it's not like a normal Goodwill store where things are hung up and in sections and everything. It's kind of like big bins. Some people call it the bins. Um, kind of separated by category, not really. Um, and you just kind of dig, which I know sounds gross and sometimes it is gross, but I just have to kind of put out of my head, like, I don't know what's in here and look at it as, I don't know what's in here. It could be really good. <laughs> so, um, and I always like, you know, use hand sanitizer, everything like that. So I went yesterday and I got a ton of stuff and I only spent, I think it was 25 or $26. Um, they usually weigh things by the pound, depending on what products you have. Um, that kind of makes the price. So I had wares mostly like home wares. So my stuff was 79 cents a pound. So um, really good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. If you don't know already, I have recently kind of switched up my home decor style into more of a cottagey, cozy, um, not really farmhouse, but more cottage uh, decor. And I'm loving it. I have redone these two shelves here, my mantle. Um, I have some new furniture. So I'm going to share a home tour or apartment tour when, um, when it's all finished. But let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so I'm going to start with just kind of some random stuff before I go into a lot of like the linens and, and fabric sort of things that I got. Um, here's my little baby, by the way, he might make an appearance or two. Hi, baby! Hi, Choopy! So first off, we have a little sprig of <laughs> a floral arrangement that had been torn off. So I grabbed this because it weighs like nothing. It was probably no money. <laughs> so I grabbed this one. Oh, do you want it? The next item I found is actually this little stack of fake wooden books. Um, I actually have up on this shelf, I believe, another stack of little fake wooden books, um, but they're more the colors I'm going for. <laughs> So these I will probably just paint. Um, I may even try and like scrape some of the little paint off uh, before I paint it so you don't see the indent. But yeah, I thought these were kind of cool and they're already stuck together so I don't have to stack them myself. Okay, next item is gonna be a little bit of a project as well. Um, I found this, I believe it's like a backgammon board. Um, obviously these colors are a little bright for me so I will be dulling these parts down with paint but I thought this would be cool to either set out with some decor on top of it or set it behind um, some decor in the front. So I thought this was really cool. So I picked it up. Then we just have a wooden frame. I really liked the wood, um, color, uh, to this frame. So it doesn't have any like stand on the back, but I'll just lean it somewhere or hang it because it does have the hanging hardware as well. So I have no idea what this is. I want to say it was like the lid to something because it sits like this, but I just thought it was cool and like architectural. So um, I'm gonna maybe like wipe it down a little bit, but I really like the like old looking brassy color to it. Speaking of brassy color, I grabbed this piece here. Um, I didn't realize till I got it home that it is chipped on this side, but that means I will just have it this way. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's really cool. I don't know, it, it's some sort of ceramic, but um, I thought it was really pretty. So even if I don't put a candle on it, if I just put maybe even a vase on it with some flowers, I thought it would be worth picking up. Another little vessel type thing. Um, I picked this up. I want to say this was maybe from Target at one. Oh, Hobby Lobby. So it's like a galvanized little um, dish and it's got some gold to it as well. Um, this is a little, because it's galvanized, it's a little farmhouse for what I'm going for, but I thought it could still go with the cottage theme as well. Next, I picked up this little copper bell. I thought this would be pretty just sitting uh, maybe on a stack of books or um, just a little tray. I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that one. One of the accent colors that I'm kind of trying to incorporate is green, like a dark, um, not emerald green, almost like a forest green. And I found this little kind of balsa wood container. It probably had a lid at some point, but at the bins, um, good luck finding a lid to anything. <laughs> so I grabbed this one. I thought it could be pretty either with flowers in it or just some kind of decor. Next up, I found this little basket, like hanging basket. So it does have a lid on it that I believe comes up. Yeah, like that. It's going to be a little hard to see, but I thought this could be cool um, hanging just on the wall or I do have like a little hook set 
uh, by our front door so I might hang it there with some little flowers or something in it. So I thought this was cute. Another little sprig of, I guess, kind of succulents, <laughs> but I just like the color of them. So I went ahead and grabbed that as well. Next up, I have some dishes. Um, like I was saying, it's kind of hard to find the lid to anything, but I did find this really cool um, teapot. It looks old. I have no idea where it's from, what kind it is. Didn't find the top to it, but that's okay. I like how it looks just kind of sitting out. I'm probably not gonna use it for tea anyway. I'm not a tea drinker. So um, yeah, I thought this was really fun. So I grabbed this one. I also grabbed this brown bowl. Um, it's got some scratches and imperfections, but I think it just kind of adds to the character. So I like this, even just sitting out like on the counter with a towel in it or something. Um, I just think it's really cute and cottagey. Next, I grabbed this bowl that's got that kind of forest green striping on it and I grabbed a plate. I don't believe they go together, but this might actually be a like shallow bowl too, but it's also got that green. So I thought these would be pretty either to use or just to kind of set out. Then I found three of these like shallow bowls. Um, they're not old or anything, but I do like the um, design around the rim of them. So there's three identical ones. So I thought these were really nice. I would love to eventually, I have my eye out for a china cabinet at some point for our dining room but they're kind of hard to find and when you do find them they're either humongous or <laughs> or they are expensive so um, I'm just hoping that I come across one <laughs> reasonably priced that's not huge. Last pottery piece is this big vase. This one I believe is handmade because there's like nothing on the bottom of it. It does have a big crack right here like a visible crack on the inside and outside but I will probably just turn it this way and put flowers in it or um, I think it'd be pretty with like wooden spoons and utensils, stuff like that in the kitchen. So I love this and I'm glad I picked this one up. The next three items are all the same. I don't know how I came across three of them and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but <laughs> they are these cage like light covers. Um, I would love to be able to put them somewhere with a light in them, but there's really not a place for that in this apartment. So they may just be something that I hang on to for the future. I do even like how they look just sitting, you know, on a shelf or something, but um, they're a little big for that. So we'll see what I end up doing with these. But yeah, I found three of them that are all the same. So even if I keep them for a future home, um, it was definitely worth picking them up at the bins. Next, I have a few baskets I wanna show you. First one is this one. Yes, I will be taking the ugly orange ribbon off of it. If you like the orange ribbon, okay, that's fine. I do not, so I will be snipping that one off, but otherwise, it's a really pretty basket. It almost matches the wood of my little like blanket ladder back here. So yeah, I thought this was awesome. I like the square shape. I like that it's got um, some texture to it, so I'm glad I picked this one up. Next is this basket. I have one similar to this that I'm keeping all my crochet stuff in. Um, under my coffee table but yeah it's got like a liner in it but I'll probably just use it um, for storage maybe on um, a bookshelf that I'm gonna be decorating soon so um, in our hallway so you'll see this in some upcoming Instagram pictures <laughs> and finally this basket come on now I know it's not like the forest green color but it's got that sagey green color and just the texture of it was so pretty and it's huge so I'm probably gonna use this on a shelf as well to store like some books or games. Okay, so next up I have a little collection of um, some like straw hats. I kind of want to do a little hat wall um, somewhere in the apartment. So this first one is like a darker brown. Um, yeah, it's just a woven hat. It's got the brown uh, ribbon on it. I thought this would be really nice because most of the ones that you find are more this coloring. Um, this one's a little floppy and it was actually from J, J. Crew. But um, yeah, just a basic woven hat. So I'll be having a few of these on the wall together. Um, and then the last one was this one that's got a little bit more of like a cowboy shape to it, but I thought it would be pretty. And I like that they're all different tones. So these will be going on a little wall display at some point. Also on the wicker train or, or rattan or woven. Oh, why are you in the bag? He's playing with the bag whatever, it keeps them occupied. I found this, which I will probably use this. I don't know if I'll use it as decor, but I probably will use this in the summer. Um, it's this Draper James um, little woven bag. Um, and I just think it's really cute. And it's got like 
a navy lining. It has um, a little magnet closure. So I will probably be using this one as an actual bag this spring and summer. Okay, getting into more of like the linens and, and all that kind of fabric-y stuff. Um, I did find this silky scarf that I thought was really pretty. Um, I don't know if I will have it completely open, like showing like this, or if I'll have it kind of bunched up coming out of like a basket or a vase or something, but I loved the colors on it. So I grabbed that one. I did find a few little like small pieces of fabric. Someone must have donated like their fabric scraps or their fabric collection. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and grab them because I thought they could be pretty, even if I don't use them for sewing, um, just kind of stacked up um, as decor. So I found this pattern here that's got some little like rosettes on it. I found this little piece that reminds me of almost like a transferware dish. Um, so I thought that was pretty. This one here that looks very cottagey. <laughs> so I grabbed this one. So I've been having some video difficulties apparently. Um, storage has kind of filled up on my phone. So <laughs> I think the last thing I showed you or was going to show you were the dishcloths, the little crochet dishcloths. So I'm just gonna kind of rapid fire go through this. Um, I found a little placemat, little buttery yellow placemat. I found the um, a circle scarf that has uh, the script from, or text from Pride and Prejudice on it. So I thought this was really cool. Um, I found some little tea towels. These have lemons and limes on them. And then um, I got three of those. I found this little um, linen bag that I'm gonna hang by our front door. I found a little baby hat for a future baby. Um, not a current, this is not an announcement. I found a plaid picnic blanket. I found three of these placemats in kind of a rusty peach color. I found three of these little ticking stripe tea towels. I found this scarf that I'm gonna use as kind of a blanket, faux blanket in my blanket basket. Also this cream one. I found two pillow covers, this one and this black and tan one. I found a big yellow and white um, outdoor rug that I will be using in our front, uh, at our front door. And then I found two of these really cool um, shower curtains. One is like a tan gauzy material and the other one is actually a hearth and hand uh, linen one that has this at the bottom. And I believe that is it. So it's been an epic <laughs> thrifting day yesterday and I'm so glad that you guys got to see all the fun finds I got to share them with you. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was that I found and if you love thrifting as much as I do, like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye!